Join spiritual feminist and empowerment coach Joni Advent Maher for Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow. Listen in for intimate conversations about money, transformation, and feminine sovereignty. And now, your host, Joni Advent Maher. Welcome to Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow. I'm your host, Joni Advent Maher, spiritual midwife, mystic, and transformational guide. So glad to be with you today. Today I want to talk with you about the value and importance of self-expression. And what do I mean by that? I mean expressing what's within you and bringing it out. I mean using your voice, expressing your truth, expressing your emotions, sharing and expressing your wisdom, expressing your creativity and your gifts. What I mean is listening, deep listening for what's within you that wants to be expressed and shared and brought forward. Because I believe that self-expression is a sacred act. I see it as that divine self within you, which is really all of you, coming out and engaging with life. And so even if it's unrefined, even if it's messy, even if it's a unevolved expression, it's still important and valuable. Because for so many of us, we grew up with very clear ideas of what was acceptable to be expressed, what was allowed to be ex expressed, and then there were some very clear things that we were not allowed to express. And so we are moving through our lives in these little, uh, I get this picture of like moving through a maze, these, these walls. So it's that whole idea of coloring inside the lines, expressing within the lines. So within the bounds of what is acceptable can be expressed, but there are so many truths, so many pieces of wisdom or, or just creative impulses that really push the edge of what you may have been taught was acceptable. So I believe that we are being called as women to become more visible, to become more engaged, to become more present, to show up more fully in our presence and our radiant presence. And the only way we can do that is if we begin to express ourselves and if we begin to move beyond those bounds that have constricted us previously to really test those bounds because I believe that we pay a huge cost for not expressing ourselves and that our families and our communities and the world around us bear that cost as well because there are gems within us, again, whether it comes in the form of truth or wisdom or just creative expression, and I don't mean just as in not as valuable, but there is a, a dynamic essence and energy that dwells within you, that wants to be expressed through you fully, and that as you do that, it feeds and nourishes you and it feeds and nourishes the world. When we express ourselves, and I don't necessarily mean talking all the time, 
but I mean feeling and knowing if there's something within you that's yearning and aching to be said or that you've been sitting on or that you just feel called to create that to not follow up on that impulse comes with a high price and it's a price that we can't afford to pay any longer. So, my beloved, this is your permission slip. This is your permission slip to say what you need to say to who you need to say it. This is your permission slip to do that creative thing, to start singing again or learn to sing this is your permission slip to start drawing or painting or sculpting or speaking, speaking publicly or speaking up in other settings where you're not used to doing so. This is your permission slip to feel and express your feelings. This is your permission slip to share your wisdom. And if you're anything like me, you have a love-hate with that idea of self-expression. I remember as a little girl that I used to like to raise my hand and know the answer in class. And I like to be engaged in the discussion. So there was a part of me that was very at ease and comfortable with expressing myself. But on the other hand, there was another part that was very, very shy and reserved. And there were times when there was something I believed or I felt or thoughts or creations I had in mind that I kept very protected and private. And there are still times, in fact, as I was preparing to do this, this episode, uh, this theme of self-expression has been coming up for at least the last 10 days, and I've been talking about it in my membership group as to how it relates to visibility and our ability to be, be visible and be seen and heard by others and how important that is when we're developing our own body of work. And that, of course, is true just in our lives the importance and value of being visible, being seen and being heard, taking up space, all those things that go with expressing ourselves, whether it's expressing our truth, expressing our boundaries, etc., etc. So I had been jamming on this topic and really excited to create an episode about it. But then about two days ago, it was as if something came over me and I just couldn't share. I didn't want to share. I didn't want to share on social media. I didn't want to express myself. I, I just felt mute. And I could remember this feeling this feeling of being very young and very shy. And I get this image of having these big, soulful eyes and just looking out at the world around me and not knowing if it's safe or if it's going to be welcome. Is what I want to express going to be welcome? Is it going to be received? Will I still be loved if I express what's true for me? Or if I express boldly, will it be okay? Will it be acceptable? And as I said, most of us have learned some things are okay to express and others are not. So this place inside of me that was very acutely aware of that and wanted to stay safe and preserve herself and have peace and not have conflict or upset anyone had gotten very good at holding back and not expressing herself. 
So what do we do with that? How do we overcome that? So there's two pieces that feel important. One, of course, is recognizing that this is occurring and that there is this place that's censoring or uh, withholding or afraid to step out, afraid to step out and take the stage or afraid to say how we feel or what we believe or what we know to be true. So recognizing she's there, that part of us, that part of you. And then first and foremost, holding a loving and supportive space for that part of yourself and not pressuring and not rushing and not needing her to be any different or further along than she already is in this journey. And then along with that, as you are creating safe space for this place within you, expanding that safe space by calling in or opening up to others who you know are safe. Those sisters or partners or children that you can just be yourself with, just express the brilliance of who you are, the goofiness of who you are, the vulnerability of who you are, having those safe places so that you can become more practiced in expressing yourself. And then when you feel like you have more experience with that or when you have backing and support from people who are saying, yes, go for it. I believe in you. The world needs what you have, whether it's just somebody needs a good talking to about what the truth is or if you have an idea that only you have that the world needs to hear about. So it's having those people that can champion you, that can celebrate you, that can cheerlead you to get out there and do it. And just to know that I am one of those people. I am holding a space for you and I am celebrating you dipping your toe in the water and taking that next step to express yourself. In fact, I would love to hear how you are risking and doing that in some new ways. One way you can let me know is by coming to my Facebook group, which is the Sacred Feminine Sisterhood. You can join the circle and then you can leave a post and let me know so we can celebrate you. Because in my opinion, I believe we as women, are not, we are not expressing ourselves enough. And we are paying the price and the world is paying the price for that. Frankly, that's part of what has inspired me to create my new mentorship program birth your wisdom and prosper which is a chrysalis community and mentorship program to support you in expressing and birthing your life's work your signature sacred work in the world because it's so critical that we as women express the depth of our knowledge I've had a small group of sisters I've been working with, and I'm so delighted to begin expanding our circle and calling in more wise women who are ready to express their gifts and their signature sacred work in the world. If you'd like information or to watch the free training video I created on birthing your sacred work in the world, you can go to the website, revolutionaryheart.com, 
and sign up for free. Also a reminder that each month we're holding a new moon circle on or right around the new moon as an opportunity to awaken and to connect with the deepest source of your joy, your peace, your power, and your pleasure. All vitally important aspects, emotions, and desires within you to be expressed in your life, powerfully expressed. If you'd like to join us or register, find out when the next circle is, you can go to newmooncircle.com. So as we bring this to a close, as I always say, trust what your heart knows. Your heart knows what needs to be expressed. Your body knows what needs to be expressed. Your gut and your womb space know what needs to be expressed. So trust that, trust what your heart knows and your body knows and your womb wisdom knows and get the support you need to express it fully and freely and without apology. Until next time, sending you my love. Thanks for listening to Trust Your Sacred Feminine Flow with Joni Advent Maher. If you like what you heard, the best compliment you can give us is to share our podcast with a friend and subscribe, rate, and review our podcast at iTunes.